U.S. President Barack Obama has approved air surveillance flights over Syria to gain intelligence on Islamic militants, Islamic State militants. That right. Is. And with more, we now turn to Paul Yee at the News Center. Paul, Damascus has had a shaky relationship with the West, to say the least. But what's prompted this change of heart? Well, the move comes a day after Islamic militants seize control of an air base in the north of the country. The government says it's ready to work with the international community to fight off Islamic State forces, but that offer came at a caveat, one that will likely limit U.S. military action in the heart of Syria. Our Kwan Tzawa has this story. U.S. military action against Islamic State militants in Syria is a possibility in the near future as President Barack Obama has authorized surveillance flights over militant targets in Syria. A senior U.S. official says Obama made the decision over the weekend and according to defense officials on Monday, the Pentagon was preparing to dispatch manned and unmanned aircraft including drones and spy planes. Earlier, Syria's foreign minister said his country welcomes any international help, including from the U.S., in fighting Islamic State militants. We are ready to cooperate and coordinate with regional countries and the international community in fighting terrorism following the resolutions of the Security Council. We welcome everybody. The offer was not unconditional, though. Mualim warned that any U.S. airstrikes must be coordinated with Damascus and that anything else would be considered an aggression. While the surveillance flights are for gathering intelligence on the Islamic State group, they could become precursors for an expansion of airstrikes in Syria, in addition to those that began in Iraq earlier this month. Also on Monday, the U.N. condemned crimes committed by IS militants in Iraq. Such cold-blooded, systematic and intentional killing of civilians after singling them out for their religious affiliation may amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. The UN said there was substantial evidence of widespread rights violations such as targeted killings, abductions, sexual abuse, slavery and the besieging of specific communities. Kwon Arirang News.